Hey guys, I am Azuka Obi. If you're new here, welcome to my channel where uploads are very inconsistent. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I know I haven't made a video in so long. I just, I, yeah, I, uh, I haven't been like, um, what's the word? Uh, oh yeah, I haven't had like any motivation to make any videos like at all. But I took one day out of my life to plan out all the ideas that I have and they're all in this book. So any video you watch from this point onwards is coming from this book and from all the ideas I have thought of. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for coming back if you're watching this. First of all, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you turn on those post notifications to get notified when I post a video. And just leave a like. So, without further ado, let us jump right into this video. The video, obviously, as you can tell from the title down below, is 10, th <laughs> 10 types of people on Snapchat. Now, this is an updated version as if you are a returning subscriber, you probably already know that I made a video on this already. But it's 2017. 2017. Things have changed. People have changed. Have they? We're about to find out. So let's get it. All right. So the first type of people we have are the meme lords. So for me, these are people who post a whole bunch of memes on their snapchat and I'm not complaining like these are funny as hell like they're the funniest thing ever and also like um the funny videos that you normally find on Instagram people have now transferred them to snapchat that means I don't have to keep switching apps just to find videos and yeah this is I, I, I don't know I, I, I really don't know how to explain this one it's just really funny like who, who there's um Profanity, I think. I think that's what his Snapchat is. And um, Exo Trayvon Vert, those are the funniest, those have the funniest memes and videos on Snapchat so far that I've seen. But yeah, those are the meme lords. Second of all, we have the people that always post Sprinkle of Jesus quotes. So for those of you guys who don't know what Sprinkle of Jesus is, it's, a, it's basically an app that sends notifications with like, um, things relating to things happening now and incorporating Jesus within that but um I don't even know if I used the correct word but um yeah that's basically what they, they are and people on snapchat screenshot those and post them on their story now to me it feels as if they're like creeping around and then waiting for that notification to pop up so it'll be like oh yes the notification has come let me just post it on snapchat and look like i'm all godly and stuff like that yeah that's how that's how it, it seems in my eyes so yeah those are the sprinkle of jesus people like did i write it down yeah i literally wrote it down in my thing i wrote sprinkle of where, 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 yeah focus 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 yeah it's not focusing but i wrote sprinkle of jesus people so yeah that's the Oh boy. In third place, we have the people who post 11-11. This pisses me off so much. <laughs> like, for some reason, they believe that this 11-11 thing is gonna make all your wishes come true. Like, no, it's Snapchat, calm. Like, literally, it's, it's, it, I remember, it. I used to do it as well when I was younger, but, um, now it's like taking a whole new level. Like people are not even only posting it during the day, but I mean, what? <laughs> people are not only posting it during the night, but during the day too. So if their wishes don't come true during the night, for some magical reason, it should be able to come out during the day. So I mean like, props to you guys who believe in that stuff. So yeah. Moving on. The next set of people are the people who send me stuff like put me on your story, give me a shout out. Now, I know exactly what you guys are thinking right now. Oh, AJ, you used to do that too. You do shout outs all the time. You always tell me to put me on your story. No, I stopped doing that. Get off my 
Just leave me alone. Like, I stop. Yeah, like, and it's so annoying because they send like every day. Like, there's some people that do it once in a while, which is all right, but like, I'm not putting you on my story. Like, just leave me alone. But then there are people that do it every single day. And like, like, why? Like, just, just don't bother me. I don't care. You're not going on my story. I'm, I'm not doing that. So I know I used to do it. Uh, EJ, you suck. It's such a suck. Uh huh, AJ, you're such a hypocrite. I don't care what you think, so leave me alone. All right? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. This one is my most favorite one. This one is about the people who complain about any little thing on their story. Now, this, this, just, just, just like I don't know. Like whenever I see somebody ranting on their story, I'm just like, nobody, nobody cares, and like. If, if, if you really feel that way, then like, why don't you go and tell the person? Like, for some, like, for example, if somebody is calling somebody out, they throw shade at, at, at the person, but don't even at them. Like, how, how does that make you feel better? Do you feel like you're all big and stuff? If you're calling somebody out and, and not even like adding them, like at least add their name. So that, that, that will even, I'll give you some props if you add their name, but like, if you're just throwing shade, then what's the point? Like, you're not big. You're not like anything. You're 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 dumb. <laughs> that's that's what you are to me. You're dumb if you're throwing shade and like you're not even adding anybody. And if you feel hurt by this, it's straight towards you. <laughs> that's all I gotta say. No, like seriously, like all jokes aside, it's 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 really stupid in my opinion. And like, if you feel some way about somebody, don't post about it because nobody cares. Message the person and directly address them. Like. If you're trying to make a broad point, then you can do that, but there's no need for you to throw shade and be immature about it, you get me? So like, that's that's my take on it. Next one pisses me off so much. Now, these are the people that go to the movies and post the whole movie on their Snapchat. Why? Why? If, if, if you are going to watch a movie, Whoa, how, why are you posting the whole movie on Snapchat? If I wanted to go and see the movie, I would have paid money to go and watch the movie. I know some people will be like, oh, don't you think it's beneficial if people are posting the movie so that you don't have to pay about, pay for it? I mean, I guess so, I get what you mean, but like, why, 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 why would you post about the movie and say like, there's some people who don't, who want to watch the movie for themselves and don't want people to spoil the movie for them. How do you think they feel? Why are you posting the whole movie? It's dumb. I don't get it. And during the movie, the, or before the movie starts, doesn't it say no cell phones allowed? And isn't it illegal to be recording a movie on, with your phone? So like, I don't know, like, what the, I don't know, like, it's just dumb to me and it, it, it's really annoying. So for those of you who do that, please stop. It's, it's, it's stupid. Don't, just don't do it, please. Thank you. Why not? Yeah. Next one are people who send me streaks, but I don't have streaks with them. There's no explanation for this. If I don't have a streak with you, and I tell you already that I don't want to have a streak with you, then don't send me streaks. Don't snap me, don't message me, leave me alone. I don't want to streak with you, so stop sending me streaks question mark uh, and, and then snap me every day as if I'm going to respond. No, I will not respond. Slap the mom. I will not respond. Leave me alone. Do not snap people streaks if you don't have a streak with them unless they accept the streak and then obviously it makes sense. But don't be snapping somebody all the time if they're still not sending you streaks, like, it's, it's just dumb, like, just don't do it, like, yeah. The next type of people are the people that post a whole bunch of quotes, depressing quotes, this and that, like, if you're feeling sad, message somebody. Like, there are people who complain that they have nobody, yet they're getting, like, 200, 300 views on their story, like, you have people to message, don't, don't be acting all sad and attention seeking and all of this just to tell people when they message you about it oh i'm fine nothing's wrong like that's just dumb 
message somebody if you feel hurt. Don't post about it and then when people contact you, just you, you, you just like ignore them or like stuff like that. It's, it's just dumb. It doesn't make sense. If you feel sad, contact somebody. Yeah, it might be hard to talk about, but don't act as if you have nobody to talk to. There are people in this world to talk to. There's 7.5 billion people on this earth. Come on, you can't tell me you don't have one person to talk to. And then go and complain on your Snapchat about, oh, I'm depressed, this, that. Nobody cares. <laughs> nobody cares. So please, Snapchat is supposed to be a fun place, not a place for people to cry and moan and argue and this and that. Like, just build, relax. Life is good. Alright? Just please. Yeah. Alright, so the next type of people on Snapchat are the Saraha users. If you guys don't know what Saraha is, I don't know what you've been doing with your life or where you've been for the past, what, three or four months now. But if for some reason you don't know what it is, it's basically this app where you get people to ask you anonymous questions. And I really have nothing left to say about that other than you find the weirdest questions on the, on this app. Like people ask, like, just it's just the strangest things. Like it's it's yeah. Ooh, I mean I use it sometimes whenever I get like really, 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 really bored. And like I like I, I yeah I, I like yeah. I just get really bored then I use it. That's basically all I have to say. La last but not least, the most annoying type of person in the whole world on Snapchat are the boys specifically who think they are cute, who think they are hot and fine like a fine piece of chocolate, who think they're yummy and are snack. That so much so that they can be taking off their own shirt and taking pictures and posting them on their story as if they're gonna get girls or as if they're gonna get boys I and mean, I don't judge but as if as if as if as if people are gonna slide up and comment oh you look so fine no you're ugly stop posting shirtless pictures and worst of all these same people send shirtless streaks as if as if they're gonna get some type of coin back no you're not cute it is it is the most annoying thing to see on people's story when 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 they take when they don't have on um a shirt when 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 they're taking a picture and and then this this person they also even like take pictures after they finish showering so they're all dripping wet and they look at thinking they look all sexy stuff no you're not cute like stop <laughs> like you need to end yourself like just just build end it <laughs> it's so dumb i hate people like that anyway guys thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like down below make sure you comment and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already also turn on those post notifications so you can get notified whenever i post a video i love you all thank you for enjoying and i shall see you guys when i make another video which is hopefully soon thank you for watching and peace